I've been shopping for garden supplies and I want to share with you what I got. Welcome to K&D's Homestead. I'm Donna. You know, it is always a great day when you can go spend money shopping for garden supplies. And that's exactly what I did. I've been looking forward to this time for a long time. And my friend Raquel went with me, thank goodness. She helped me load things. And we had a great day shopping for garden supplies. It's always a lot of fun and I could have bought out the stores if the funding had been there. Let me show you what I got. To start with, I got five bags of mushroom compost, and I got one large bag of potting soil so that I can put in some hanging baskets. I got 10 stackables so that I can build a strawberry tower and of course, those are the stackables from the Dollar Tree. I have an older set that I bought five or six years ago, a gray set, and they are still in really good shape, but that is only a three-piece unit because the others cracked and broke. And that's the thing about these, they hold up pretty good when you're actually using them in the summer, but a good tip is because they're not super thick, um, my best advice is at the end of the season is to wash them up and store them somewhere. Don't leave them outside like you would some of your um, more sturdier pots because they don't hold up in the frigid temperatures and they will crack and break. I needed a new wand for my water hose. Got me one of those. A few T-posts that I needed for my garden. These are just some clamps that I can clamp down my PVC pipes that I use for hoops in the garden beds. I needed a few of these pots that go under a hanging basket to catch water. That's actually for my grill. I got a cute little wire basket that I plan on using for strawberries. I had to have a new sprayer as well, some WD-40, and I got a lot of hose mending pieces because I have sprung leaks all over the place for my water hoses. In here, I got a couple of snips, three different types. I've got about four pair but every time I need a pair, they're in a different direction, so I got extras that I can lay around or put in containers at my different gardens. I got a couple of packs of hangers for hanging baskets and two cute little thermometers and a little watering pitcher. These are spoons, watering cups for a chicken waterer. I had to have a new spray bottle and I finally got a couple of cans of black and white spray paint. I use those for spraying a lot of projects, keeping things tidied up each, each season. And when I made the bird feeder, which is back there. I ran out of paint to paint the pole. I did end up getting one can, but I wanted some extras. This is a micro torch. My torch stopped receiving the butane, and this is a refill, so I don't have to attach a... Um, a canister of butane onto the bottom of it. I got a new flag and flagpole for my back garden. We had some winds uh, about a month ago, some really strong winds, and it 
ripped the flag and twisted the pole. I had to have a couple of tarps and I got me a big pack of garden gloves. How many is in here? One, two, three, it looks like four pair. A couple of cocoa liners for some hanging baskets. Bungee straps. I got two containers of bungee straps. I use these all over the place. I use them in the garden. I use them all over the rest of the property and I just can't have enough. And I couldn't resist a few plants. Even though I'm doing uh, things by seeds, I wanted these anyways. This is some Green Magic Broccoli. There's two containers of that. And some tomato plants. This is cher uh, chocolate, chocolate cherry. I'm going to split this with my friend. But chocolate cherry tomato. I've never tried those. She said they were delicious, so I had to get some to try. And these are some globe tomatoes. And I got some yellow bell peppers. And I got some pimentos, girls. I got some pimento sweet pimento peppers, but I did not realize that something had chewed on these. It had to be at the store because I've had these in the house. Anyways, I guess they'll bounce back. I got some oregano. I got a few cups of collards and then I got some beautiful little miniature roses in that color pretty that's a reddish peach color I guess and then I got some yellow miniature roses and I got two cups of some really pretty pink dianthus. If you've watched any of my previous videos, I have talked about how I love dianthus. And I have dianthus everywhere on the property. Different colors, different, there's more than one variety. And I can't tell you all of the varieties that I've got. But... This just, the color drew me straight to the shelf where these were at, and I just had to have them. Okay, that was a short video, but I just wanted to share my little shopping haul and my excitement. I'm looking forward to getting started with a lot of garden projects, and I hope that you are also in the position where you are going shopping and being able to get your garden supplies. It's a lot of fun, and it also puts a little bit of oomph into your um, garden season when it's time to get ready to planting. I'm looking forward to getting my garden started for real. I've done a few little things piecemeal here and there, but I'm ready to get going full speed, and we only have a week or so left for our last frost date. I will wait an additional week, but things are going to start going into the garden really soon. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, I hope you will subscribe. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for following along with me and uh, visiting my videos and supporting my channel. I appreciate it. And if you have any comments, please leave them down in the comment section. I do read all of my comments and respond, and I'd love to hear what you have been shopping for or what you've been making a list for. This is not everything that I need, but it's all I could get at, at this moment, and I'm ready to go back and do some continued shopping. I couldn't find a lot of things. Most of the vegetables that are out right now were some herbs and a lot of flowers. 
but the rest of it's gonna I guess our area they're just waiting until it's time to start planting and then we'll start seeing a larger variety of things coming in I'm keeping my eye on the stores and I'm looking forward to getting the rest of my garden stuff going I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I will see you on the next video bye bye